Hi, my name is Daryl Garrett, and this is Pastor D's Thoughts. So, several times over the last week, it's been rather ironic, the same person's name has come up in conversations with a contractor, with a farmer, with a local businessman here in town. And this is somebody who I've always thought a lot of, and each time this person's name has been brought up, some very derogatory things have been said about them, things that besmirch the person's integrity, their character, and reputation in general. And as I listen to these, I begin to realize, the, you know, the Bible even tells us that out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, so a thing is established. And it began to bother me because I thought, here's this person who I thought so much of and I'm hearing things that their integrity is lacking, that they've been very dishonest in business dealings, that they've been violent towards other people, threatening people, physically confronting people, even hitting somebody. And I began to think, wait a minute, this person spent years in this area, did a lot of good, and behind the scenes, people know them as a different person. And as I was driving home after my last conversation today with an appointment, I had an appointment with somebody, and as I was coming home, I was thinking about, is this person really who I thought they were, or are the things that are coming to light now after all these years really true about them? I got to thinking about it in the Bible, I believe it's in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, Solomon wrote some important words. He said that a good name is more valuable than costly ointment or a precious ointment or costly perfume. In other words, there's very little that means more than a good name. And I thought, you know, what a shame that here a person spent many, many years in an area, in my area, doing a lot of good things, but yet their reputation is soiled because they flew off the handle, because they became violent with somebody over something, because they were a little crooked in business dealings. One person told me that the person grossly overcharged them, and another contractor told me that he would no longer do work with the person because they had been so shady and dishonest. And I thought, for all the good that this person did, their name is just filthy, soiled, and worthless. So no matter what we think we're doing, what really matters is what do people think about us? What does your name mean? When somebody brings up your name, what are the thoughts they have about you? Sometimes that's out of our control, but as much as it's possible, we need to do what we can to safeguard our integrity, our good name. I want to encourage you today, especially you Christian men and women, Guard your name because a good name can be ruined in a heartbeat with one bad instance. Guard your name, protect that name because a good name is more valuable than costly perfume. God bless you. Come back and see me again at Pastor D's Thoughts.